Hey guys. How are you doing? Uh, Jesus, it's been a while? So, yeah, I haven't made a video in quite some time. And uh, just thought maybe I should get started again. Uh, <laughs> super rusty. No idea what kind of content I'm going to bring you. Uh, don't know if it's going to be flexing, fitness related, fucking, I don't know, man. Talking about life. You name it. I guess it's, uh, this is my channel, so it's my show. I'll tell you or make whatever I want, I guess, but for today, what we're doing is we're going to the gym. As usual. Same stuff, different day. And today, we're gonna train chest and back. I'm going to do, probably start with my chest, and then, um, yeah, probably hit some chest. I'm thinking I might do like an incline first, and then go on to uh, fly, or I'm gonna start with a fly. We'll see how I feel. I did shoulders yesterday with my arms, and um, they're a little tender, so it all depends on how I feel. Whatever one I start, if it's not the one, then I'm gonna switch it up and do the other one. And, uh, and we'll start with that. It's, today is supposed to be three exercises of each muscle group. I might do four of each muscle group, depending on the time that I'm training. If it's just, uh, just shy of two hours, then, you know, uh, it's good. But if we're reaching a two hour mark and I've only managed to do six total exercises, chest and back, then that's what we're gonna do. Um, I will keep you guys posted. I'm about to go in the gym now, I just got here. And uh, yeah, see you on the next uh, flip thing. See you on the next segment. <laughs> oh my God, I'm rusty, dude. <laughs> you won't believe what time it is. So it is four o'clock in the morning and uh, I'm here. I haven't gone to bed yet. <laughs> well, technically I've already slept eight hours or seven, I should say. I woke up at 8 p.m. I know I'm totally nocturnal, but um, I plan to switch it around soon. I just, um, I don't know, I find that I, I'm in my element more when I, uh, I work out around this time or when I'm just isolated away from um, people in general. Um, I just get, I can get, uh, more focused and um, there's more variety more equipment available um, I don't get to share equipment it's not busy and um, I can get more connected to myself and my own habits and uh, and routines and uh, interests particularly I'm not you know distracted by outside sources so I usually do this every now and then to kind of like realign myself and uh, you know focus on my own interests and my own personal things and then uh, then go back into the world. But yeah, so we're here, we're at the gym and uh, I got my pre-workout. <clears throat> I've got two scoops of pre-workout. It's two different companies. One is uh, Mutant and then the other one's Dominate. Um, I put greens powder in it. Four scoops of L-glutamine and uh, <clears throat> oh yeah, there's another pre-workout I usually take too. Um, but it's not caffeinated. This one is a I really like this product. It's called United and it contains a combination of different mushrooms and antioxidants like for example beetroot, grapeseed extract, resveratrol, astragalus, astragalus, sorry, um, Q10, uh, uh, COQ10 and then the combination of mushrooms the cordyceps, the reishi, the lion's mane, shiitake, turkey, um, and king trumpet, trumpet, which is, uh, I'm not sure if it's a mushroom, but, oh, it is. <clears throat> and so what this is, is it actually develops ATP energy. It helps support your mitochondria and ATP energy function so that your body's energy output increases and um, improves your performance overall. Like a lot of people will use that like mud water now instead of coffees. 
in the morning to like reduce their caffeine intake and they've noticed they notice like their energy is just shoots through the roof and i feel the same thing when i take this product not even with caffeine i usually get into like this tunnel vision and because of like i guess the resveratrol resveratrol in it as well uh, my skin turns red and i get flushed and i feel my circulation like shooting up um, not to mention cordyceps is a very fascinating mushroom it's i was actually discovered in the amazon area or not the amazon it was a forest area that had um <clears throat> a, partic a particular kind of deer um and their lifespan usually lives to a certain amount where these deer were living about 50 percent longer their lifespan was like i guess three uh, sorry four like four thirds of what it should be um and they were wondering why their lifespan was increased for so long like how they were living so long and it was because they were consuming the mushrooms in the forest that were called cordyceps and there was a lot of them in the area and so they were living longer because of those mushrooms so researchers did time to study research it and yeah it is one of the best anti-aging mushrooms so like you know it's cool they put it in here it really does work so i like it we're gonna dry scoot this one I don't necessarily recommend doing dry scoops. It's like a trend these days. It's the reason why I have everything in a liquid. But the reason why is because these products are formulated to require a certain amount of hydration and water in your system in order for them to actually like ionize and like work in the particular way they're supposed to. And um, with not enough water, uh, you could potentially dehydrate your body um, and, and that could lead to muscle cramps, injuries, and re like prevent what you're trying to establish when it comes to these pre-workouts. So it's always good. See, for me though, I dry scooped because I had about like 1.5 liters before coming to the gym. So I'm quite hydrated, which is why I had that. Um, and then the rest, I have it and consume it with more liquid. Um, but yeah, let's get to the workout now. And I'll see you guys soon. Okay, we're gonna start with the decline here. It's feeling pretty good. I haven't really started yet. I'm gonna do a warm up now with like 40 pounds. And uh, yeah, um, I don't have a good tripod. All the tripods I always buy are not convenient and uh, they don't fit perfectly in my bag. So um, I'm gonna have to leave you guys in like random fucking places and hopefully buy a good one in the future. Okay, that feels pretty good. Yeah, I like that. So, um, yeah, it feels pretty good. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I was like, you know, moving side to side. And so over the years, I've done some stupid things and uh, I have have a few muscle tears. Um, 
that uh, I'm not proud of from powerlifting as well. So I have a mild pec tear. I tore off a little bit of this delt. I've also, I believe it was this bicep I tore mildly on the top head. So same area near my delt. So, and then I have this imbalance in the shoulder. I got to take a look at, um, but I never really did, which is starting to really get to me. And it's hard to engage this chest because of it. So whenever I start exercises, I really like to try to warm up, get full stretches on both evenly, um, the best I can. And, um, in order to feel them equally, you know, I'll move side to side and I'll try to get the muscles to pop individually until they feel like they're more or less at the same pace. And so sometimes I'll do one arms as well just to wake them up, get them engaged, get them firing. When the blood flows in, then I'll, you know, I'll do a consistent pace, a consistent rhythm up to, you know, a total of anywhere from like 10 to 15 workings, 10 to 15 reps, uh, four working sets. And uh, yeah, go on to the next exercise. So we're gonna start with this. Um, I will film you on my last set, I believe. And then we'll go on to a, uh, another exercise. Okay, so I, uh, I have the weight at 90 pounds right now, the side. Uh, the total is 150 on this machine. I could go heavier, but I'm not really feeling my strongest today, particularly, and I trained chest like two days ago. Um, was it two days ago? No, it was three days ago today. So, still a little tight. So I'm just feeling the muscle, getting the blood flow in it. Uh, we're sticking to 90. I'm gonna go nice and slow and contract, maybe for 10 to 12. Okay. That was good. Okay. Pump is in. Feeling nice and full now. It's good. So I'm gonna do like two more sets here. Go on to uh, maybe a chest fly, and then uh, go on to the incline. Okay, the standard pack deck machine. This one I'm gonna do four sets. And uh, I'm probably gonna hit like, I don't know, more than 10 reps for sure. Anything over 12 for me when it comes to this type of stuff, cables, etc. So, probably feel I'll hit like 15, 16 reps per set. And we're gonna do this and then go on, go on to an incline.
looking real slow now oh so I don't know if you saw during the set it's a little far away but um I don't like to do pec deck where I pull my shoulder blades back as you can see and then come forward I like to flare my shoulder upwards rather than contract my um not spinal erectors, rhomboids. So I don't like to pinch my mid back when I'm doing a pec deck. I like to flare my shoulders forward because then I get to get to the peak of the chest for me. I, I find that I can squeeze better in the center if I don't have my shoulder blades flaring back, you see? And then coming forward, I feel like I'm not getting the full squeeze of the chest. Look, look right? But if I go forward, and I'm squeezing, see? And then you keep that peak the whole time. And that squeeze. And then I feel the whole thing. So I'm gonna do these four sets. And I'll see you guys in the next exercise. So I'm pretty much gonna do it all machines today. I feel like after yesterday's shoulder workout, especially I did a lot of compounds. You know, back to back doing two different press to push days. Um, it's usually not ideal, but I've just changed my program and it's kind of like how it's been placed. And so once I have a day off, I'm going to rearrange the days so that it can properly align with uh, align properly <laughs> in my workout regime. So it'll be chest, back, legs, then shoulders, arms, followed by a day off. Um, but today we're doing the chest, so we're gonna do this incline machine. Same concept as the press, the decline I did earlier. Um, probably go up max maybe 90, 100. I'm starting with 70 right now. Probably shouldn't even do that. Probably should start with 50, just to feel the motion. And uh, we're gonna do four sets here. I might do one more exercise because the timing my training has been going at a pretty good pace and um, I feel pretty good so after this exercise we might do one more incline machine or a, a flat bench uh, not free weight flat but a flat machine press exercise so let's do this let's see how this goes <laughs> that might work Oh, that's a nice stretch. Oh, that really works. Oh, that is perfect. Oh, right at the top, guys. This is great. I like this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's so good. Mm. Okay, we're going up. That was good, that was really good. I felt that one on my chest, really nice. So I'm gonna do this probably up to 100 pounds and then go for like a 10 to 15 rep ratio. And then that's pretty much it. I guess one more incline. Maybe I'll do two sets of incline on a different machine and then I'll finish off with three sets on a flat press machine. Maybe we'll go with that guy right there. That looks like a nice stretch. Very nice, very nice. Okay, boys and girls. 
I'm done my chest. It's a nice pump. Really good pump. Let's see what I look like without the shirt. I'm going to do my back workout now. Um, I'm going to start with a pull up, assisted pull up. Maybe do three sets with body weight pull ups, free weight. And then I'm going to go uh, to maybe a pullover, an isolated movement, singles from maybe a machine or a freeway dumbbell. And then from there, go to the mid back, maybe do about, so that was one, two, three, one exercise of mid back, and then we're gonna call it a day. I did traps yesterday with my shoulders, so gotta be a little careful with that. And then maybe end off with some calves, but I don't think I'm gonna film the whole workout. I don't think I'm gonna show my back workout today. I don't have a good tripod either, so uh, it's a little unfortunate, but. You got the gist of my chest exercise today. Let's see what the pump looks like <sighs> without a shirt. Okay. All right, let's see how this looks. I just made a video, but I didn't get the fucking video properly because I don't have a tripod and I screwed it up. So this is the pump. That I got from chest. Not bad. Abs are showing through the hair. I lost some of the pump, so it's not as full as just a second ago, but <sighs> veins are popping. That's a real good chest pump though. I'd say that's a real good fucking chest pump. How's the back look? I had a longer fucking posing. I think it's looking all right. Front last spread. Okay. I think that's enough. I'm sorry about that guys. I literally made such a longer posing video, but the way I set it up, it wasn't perfect. But hopefully you guys are glad I'm back. I'm glad to be back. I finally got my life in check. Things are working out. So that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, we're gonna definitely do more of these. Oh, the veins are popping so much more. A minute ago. But yeah, that's the progress. 
and uh, I'll get to probably do another one of these videos tomorrow. Um, I might have a day off and then continue um, with shoulders and arms and then legs and then chest back. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, do all that good stuff. And I'll see you boys and girls later. <laughs> oh, also, I am a type 1 diabetic for you new subscribers who don't know. Um, if you have any questions, you have this particular disease, the type 1 or type 2, and you want to know a thing or two about blood sugar and what I do and uh, my technique to deal with my disease, um, feel free to leave any questions in the comment section. I'll try my best to reply to them. And um, for everyone else, thank you so much for watching, supporting me. Um, for you OGs that have been here since day one and were wondering where I've been, like, I love you guys. My diehard fans, it's freaking amazing. Um, and uh, yeah, like I said before, please subscribe if you're new. Um, if you're not, thanks for being here. And um, I love you guys, and I'll talk to you very soon. Have a good one.